let's start with question number nine it says that there is a service account reader in namespace projects one and then we have to create a pod with image named nginx and this is the name of the pod which uses the service account so firstly we'll ssh into it and then we'll check firstly check the service account in namespace project one and here we have the secret reader next it says that we need to create a pod so we will just create a yaml file using the dry run command run pod with name this and in namespace projects one next it says that image needs to be nginx we'll just do a dry run and in yaml format we'll just redirect into q9 pod dot yaml and there's one more condition that it says that we need to use the service account name over here so we'll just add the service account name in the spec part And the name is secret reader make sure you always copy paste rather than writing because then it gives you a lot of typo errors just apply this file and pod has been created check the pod yeah and just make sure you describe so that you know the service account has been attached properly check the configuration over here yeah we can see this line this has been added now the second part of the question says you need to exit into the pod and use the curl command query to get all the secrets from the cube api server so just exit into it first In interactive mode, we'll just exit. Okay. And here it says that we need to run the curl command. So we will do curl SDK https and we'll get the secrets from here api and then we have v1 secrets and there is the authorization part the error as token and it generates that 
secrets is forbidden for the user from your he will need to fetch the token value which is stored at the service account location so let's just do a cat Secrets. Then we have kubernetes.io. Moving on, we will require the service account and token. So this is the whole token idea. You can copy paste it over here, or you can just save it in this format once again. What we will do is we will take the token value. and just add it over here the whole file path from which it is fetched we'll take this whole part over here and yeah So here we go, this was the actual value that we have got and we need to just output into the file. Store the output into the file and exit from here. Now what we'll do is we'll just take out we'll just cat this part result dot json and we'll paste it into this file. has been copied so make sure that you initially create the token and then perform all the curls otherwise you would have to come back and do this